am glassing eggs today. It's springtime. If you want to have eggs to put up, now's the time to get them. Or if you want to put eggs up for winter use, now's the time to get them. Um, your hens are going to be laying like crazy. Every homesteader should know that. The thing that we need to have on hand is fresh eggs. Don't wash your eggs. If they have a little bit of stuff on them, it's okay. The bloom that the chicken puts on the egg as they're laying it, keeps that from going in. You do not want to wash that bloom away. Remember, fresh eggs. Doesn't matter if they were laid today or if they were laid two weeks ago or even three weeks ago, but you cannot wash them. And if you're going to store them, do not put them in the refrigerator. Put them on the counter, but in a cool, dark place. You need some pickling lime and you need some jars. I use half gallons and gallon jars. I'm going to get started on them. I've got a lot to do. As you can see, a few dozen anyway. <laughs> I'm going to get them started. When I get down to the last half gallon, I'll come back and show you exactly what you need to do. Hi, guys. I'm back. We've got quite a few all made up. I'll show you those in just a minute. I weigh out one ounce of powdered pickling lime, and I use Mrs. Wags. I just prefer it. And you use one ounce of the pickling lime to one quart of water. You just simply pour it in. I will tell you a secret. Well, it may not be a secret. Maybe it makes soap or works with things like the powders and, and liquids. Always add your powder to the liquid. Don't add your liquid to the powder. It will blow up in your face. <laughs> it's terrible. And then I shake it all up really good. Let it set for a few minutes and I'm going to finish filling this jar. I go through the eggs, make sure they're not too bad, and make sure there's no cracks. And then I just layer them inside my jar. You don't want to wedge eggs in there, and you absolutely do not want any that have cracks or splits or anything like that because they will continue. If you have a little dirt, just take your finger and wipe it off or take a paper towel and do it. Sometimes you can move an egg around a little bit and it'll make room for another. I have found that in the half gallon size, I can get 13 eggs in, but it's a variety. There's, I don't have just one particular size. It's from very large to medium and very small because we have bantams too. And that's it. You don't want to go above this neckline. You want your fluid to be able to cover the eggs completely. So you want to have that half an inch, quarter inch of the jar lid to go. Give your jar a shake again. And it's messy. You don't think for a minute it isn't. It is. And you're just going to pour that over there. How simple is that? I mean, it's literally that easy. I'm going to make a little more up. And I always make it like I'm making a regular quart, you know, like I'm making it to do the whole jar. And the reason I do that is because I want the measurements to be right. Sorry, I could have had it already, but I wanted to be able to show you how to do it. Again, add your powder to your liquid, not your liquid to your powder. And you can have a little too much um, lime, but don't have too little. All, more is always better when it comes to this. Not a lot more, but if it's a little, that's okay. Oops, two kettles getting ready to sound off. I'll be right back. All right, so then we're just going to literally cover these eggs up just like that. Want to make sure they're completely covered. And there'll be a little bit of this left. I'm just going to set that in on my apothecary counter and I'll use it when I do the next batch. Put a cover on it. Sometimes there's little air bubbles from the eggs. I just gently turn the eggs a little bit. Don't shake them for God's sakes. Just gently turn it and it releases those bubbles. Now these eggs will last anywhere from eight months to a year. That's what I have found. Now there are people that say they last longer than that, but honestly they wouldn't last that long in my house anyway. We go through them that quick. Um, you put them in a dark, I put them in the pantry on a dark shelf and they're good. Your whites when you crack them open might be a little runnier than a fresh egg is, but you don't taste any difference in them. The quality is just the same. They're absolutely delicious. You can use them in everything. You can fry them, you can boil them, you can use them in your baking, you can use them in your coating to make breaded things. 
anything like that. Okay, this is what they end up looking like. They'll be real milky, and then they'll actually turn clear. And the pickling lime, which is really a form of plaster, starts to settle down into the jars and lay underneath the eggs and stuff. You don't want to mess with these. Just leave them alone. The more you handle them, the more likely it is you're going to crack an egg. You crack an egg, and it, it will spoil. And once it spoils, it spoils the jar. Make sure you wipe your jars down all really, really well and date them. You want dates on them. You don't have to put, you know, specifics. Um, I will put 522. Today's May 1st, so th I did them this month. Even though they might be older, I put them up today. So I'm starting this month on how long they've been in there and the year. It's that simple, guys. This is so easy. It's not funny. And there is no difference in the taste. The taste is awesome. I've had people say, oh, they must taste like pickling lime. No, they don't. The bloom prevents anything from getting into that egg. So as long as that egg stays wholesome, not cracked and, and stuff, when you take them out and go to use them, that's another thing. Wash them. Then you wash them. Don't just take them out of the jar and start cracking them into your skillet or your bowl. Wash the egg. And if you want to wash the eggs, put the, the eggs in the refrigerator. Just like store-bought eggs. If Once the bloom's washed off, the eggs only last a couple of weeks. They've got to be stored in the fridge. Fresh eggs can last months on the counter. All right. If you're a subscriber, thanks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscription button. I'm trying to get my channel to grow, and I'm willing to come and give you all the information that I can. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I love comments. I love to hear what people do, how it worked out for them. If you have questions, I'll do my best to get back to you and see what I can find. If I don't have the answer, I'll find the answer. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for being here. Bye.